Don't you love when a piece of cosplay can double up as a fashion item too? I absolutely love it. Hi everyone, welcome back to Needle Workshop. My name is Emily and I'm here today to show you how to assemble the skirt from the Cosmic Guardians pattern. We have the full costume pattern available for sale online, along with a super detailed written tutorial that includes tons of extra info, such as how to properly measure yourself, how to print the pattern, material suggestions, and incredibly in-depth instructions. We also have a few pieces of the outfit available as individual listings in case you're not interested in buying the full bundle. The link to all these wonderful patterns will be available in the description box below. As always, I suggest making a mock-up before starting. This will help make sure that all the pleats of the skirt are properly fitted to your body and will also allow you to analyze the final length of the skirt that you want for yourself. Also keep in mind that for this project, all our seam allowances are one centimeter from the edge, unless specified otherwise. And without any further ado, let's get started. Start by taking out your skirt pieces. Overlock the seams at the front and back ends, and then right side to right side, align the skirt pieces at the front and then back, and sew together one centimeter from the edge. Iron the seam allowance, open. Since my initial fabric was pretty flimsy, I fully interfaced it and decided to add an extra skirt layer made from twill to add more volume to the final skirt. Next, turn your hem in twice by five millimeters and top stitch in place. Following the directions on the pattern, start pleating your skirt before stay stitching in place 7 mm from the edge. I went ahead and done this with both of my skirts. I'll then be layering them one over the other and stay stitching them together at the top 7 mm from the edge. Take out your inner and outer waistband and sew them to themselves right side to right side at the center back. This is optional, but I cut my inner waistband from a slightly thicker and less stretchy white jersey fabric. I then went ahead and sewn my two pieces together right side to right side at the top. Refer to the pattern to know which side is the top. The center front was first secured with a straight stitch, then notched and then overlocked. I've also added a small piece of interfacing to the lower edge center front of the outer waistband. I've also overlocked the lower edge of the inner waistband. Now comes the tricky part. You'll need to sew the outer waistband to the skirt. The center front is the tricky part since it's a corner. For more info on how to properly sew a corner edge, check out our video on the subject matter. It'll be linked in the description box below. Pin the lower edge of the outer waistband of the skirt, making sure to align all its notches to the pleats and then sew in place one centimeter from the edge. Fold the inner waistband to the inside of the skirt. Place the lower edge of the inner waistband about 7 millimeters past your previous stitch. Make sure to align your notches to your pleats. Pin in place and then stitch in place using a stitch in the ditch in the outer waistband. Make sure to leave a 10 cm opening at the center back to insert your stuffing. You can also opt to sew this section all by hand after placing your stuffing. The stuffing is made in the same manner as the white sleeve. For more info, check out our previous video on how to assemble the unitard. Insert your stuffing into place and then sew the center back shut with a stitch in the ditch. Your skirt is technically done. You can slide it over your hips to put it on. To secure it in place, you'll need a few small snaps. One at the center front, 
one at either side front, and two at the back midway between the center and the side. I also have a brooch pin placed at the center back that allows me to pin my skirt through my shapewear. To get the proper placement of your snaps, I suggest putting on the costume first and seeing where you want the skirt to be and then marking the snaps placement on your unitard. I also suggest backing the snaps with an extra layer of fabric to keep them from ripping your fabric in the long run. And with that, you are officially done. Welcome back. All right, everyone. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. If you like this kind of content, then please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and make sure to hit the subscribe button and make sure to like this video. That was really bad. As always, I highly suggest checking us out on our social media platforms. You'll find lots of updates and info there that you won't find here on YouTube. The links will be in the description box below. And if you ever use any of our patterns, feel free to let us know. We love seeing and sharing your work. And yeah, I think this wraps up today's video. So until next time, good luck with your projects, guys. Bye bye.